how to host a Minecraft server. We're going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, when people say host a Minecraft server, I feel like there's two things they're talking about. One, they could be talking about hosting a server on their own computer, and that's what we're going to be primarily talking about in this video, but you can also remotely host a server on a basically third-party server. And the simplest and easiest way to do that is with our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash simple to host a Minecraft server in just a few minutes. You can easily add mods to the server, one-click install mod packs, and customize the server with anything you want, whether that's plugins, changing things, adding a custom map. On top of that, there's expert live chat support there to help you out and help fix any issues that might occur when you're hosting your server and customizing it. For example, like a mod not being compatible or something like that. That's on top of the fact that at Simple Game Hosting, your server's meant to be online 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can make your server public or private. It's completely up to you. And like I said, it's your server and you can customize it however you want. So go check out Simple Game Hosting if you want to host a Minecraft server quickly and easily at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown does XYZ slash simple. Nevertheless, what if you want to host a server on your own computer? Well, to do that, you want to go here, the second link in the description down below, and keep in mind that this server is going to need some decent hardware on your computer, and you're going to have to do things like port forwarding to allow your friends to join it. You don't have to do any of that with simple game hosting. Anyway, once you're here at the second link in the description down below, scroll down and click on the download Minecraft button to go to the Minecraft Java Edition server download page. Once you're here, you want to click on Minecraft underscore server and then the version that's there. Currently, it's 1.20.4, but this will work into the future and for pretty much every server version back to at least 1.8. When you click on that, the download will begin. You may need to keep or save this file, but it's 100% safe to do that because this is Mojang's and Minecraft's official website. So if you've downloaded Minecraft, you've probably downloaded something from this website before. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to create a new folder on our desktop. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm just going to name it Minecraft Server because, well, we're starting a Minecraft server here. Then we want to drag and drop that server.jar from here, this uh, download downloads folder to our desktop and then into that Minecraft server folder. Once you've done that, you can open this up and to start your server, double click on the server.jar. It might not work in two ways. One, it might just not start, but you get these files and folders. If that's the case, awesome. But if it doesn't work at all, you need to get Java. And currently it's Java 17, but whenever Minecraft 1.20.5 comes out, it will switch to Java 21. Luckily, both these download links are the same and the installation process is the same for both of them as well once you get them downloaded. So just make sure you're getting the correct version of Java depending on the version of Minecraft that you're looking to install and run your server with. You may also need to run the jar fix after you get Java. So first get Java, then run the jar fix. And what this will do is take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and agree to this ULA. Once you've got Java, you can double click the server.jar again to get these files. We want to open up our eula.txt file. Assuming you agree to the eula, which we do, change eula equals false to eula equals true, exactly like that, and then click file, save. Now we can double click that server.jar, and this time the server is going to start. So you can see here, wait a few seconds, and then a GUI will pop up that will allow us to see some information about our server, as well as manage it, like use commands right here and all of this stuff. And the first command you're probably going to want to run on your server once you've started hosting it is actually to op yourself. To do that, you come over here into this text box and then type op space your username. What this is going to allow you to do is use game mode creative and do things like that in game, different commands, ban people, all of that stuff. But nevertheless, now that this server is online, we can join it. Now, you're the only person that can join this server, and that's because your friends are going to need to use your public IP after port forwarding. But for you to join it, which we should do before you go through port forwarding and all that, is go into multiplayer here, and then go ahead and click proceed. Then you want to add a server. I'm just going to name this local connection, because only you, the local connection to the server, can join this server. And then for the server IP address, you want to enter in local host. Exactly like that, all one word, all lowercase local host. Then click done and after a few seconds the server will resolve and you can double click to join it. You'll see us join in over here on the left hand side. Now with that being said, once you're on your server you can run around, you can do all that stuff that you want to do on your server, but you probably want to play Minecraft with your friends. That's probably why you want to host a server anyway, right? You want to play Minecraft with your friends. It's cool that you're on here, but how do you do that? Well, you're going to need to port forward and we have an in-depth guide on this and unfortunately YouTube doesn't like us doing all of this in one guide. We usually do one big guide for each Minecraft version that does include port forwarding in it, but we also have this, which is our super in-depth guide. It's 12 minutes long. The majority of starting a server is actually port forwarding once you've got your server up and running. Um, let's go ahead and click off of that. Oh, simple game hosting. There you go. You don't need to do this at simple game hosting, but nevertheless, you can go here and uh, go through this entire guide. It's a text guide. It's a video guide that covers 
everything when it comes to port forwarding. And then your friends will be able to join via your public IP, but that's all covered in this guide here. As you can see, joining the server with the public IP, it's also covered here in the video. Last but not least, we do have this, which is how to fix a broken Minecraft server. Something worth checking out if you're hosting a Minecraft server and you want to fix any issues that you may have. Even if you don't run into an issue right away, hopefully you don't, you'll probably run into one at some point. And this guide helps cover all those different issues and helps fix them along the way as well. So there you have it. That's how you can host a Minecraft server and start playing Minecraft with your friends once it's hosted. What questions do you have? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if it's a common question, we'll make an entire dedicated video about it. So be sure to subscribe for more incredible content on Minecraft servers, gameplay, all of that stuff. But we'll see you in the next video. My name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.